Hello everyone, my name is Masha Knotts, and today I'm going to be speed knotting this beautiful bracelet. So before we get into this video, I do want to mention that this footage is really shaky because uh, I filmed it on my pillow. As you can see, I have the bracelet pinned down. Um, I usually film my sort of time lapses with the bracelet taped down onto the table. That way it's a little bit more stable. But this one, as you can see, I did a loop. So th there was not that much material to work with to actually tape it down. It kept coming undone. So the result is a little bit shaky, but hopefully you can enjoy the video regardless. I just... I wouldn't recommend putting this full screen because usually when I watch shaky videos full screen I get a little bit dizzy. But anyway, um, I also feel a little bit sick which is why my voice is deeper than usual. But regardless, um, I've been wanting to make this pattern for a very long time. I've kept seeing it online um, for years actually. I think I saw it for years but I never really got into actually making it. Um, it just because like it, it seems like such a wintry pattern you want to make it during winter time, like you don't want to make this during the summer. It seems very festive to me, so I only really wanted to make it during around like November, December, maybe like January. And in those months, somehow I just never got around to it, so I kept putting it off. But I'm really happy that um, I finally got to actually make this. Um, this one is the challenge of the month pattern for the month of December, uh, which is finishing soon, but if you want to take part in the challenge, you can. Uh, I'll leave uh, the video with the rules linked in the description if you want to. Uh, but yeah, I used a sparkly Alice yarn. Um, I used Alice Sal Simli. Uh, for the white, for the snow, and I thought that was a really nice touch because um, uh, if you actually look at snow in real life, it does sparkle, especially when it's fresh. I love that when you just like when you see fresh snow when it's just uh, yeah when it just laid. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, we don't have any snow right now, and I'm really sad about that. It's like the 19th of December. I mean, I do live in London, in London, and London rarely gets snow, but. I have some tickets booked uh, for the new year to uh, go see my family in Moscow and I'm actually really excited. I'm also very excited to see the snow because I haven't seen that in a while <laughs> and I'm very used to having snow around because I used to live in Moscow and uh, you know snow is pretty much there all the time. Uh, but yeah, uh, I had quite a lot of fun with this bracelet. I really enjoyed making it because uh, as I said I wanted to make it for a while. I did however make a mistake when I started making this. Uh, by the way, if you want to know how to do that loop, I do have a tutorial, because when I posted this on Instagram, I had a bunch of people ask me. Um, yeah, I do have a tutorial how to make that sort of start, so I'll leave that linked for you if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is I made a mistake originally from the get-go, because I, I'm not very good at alphas. Uh, let's be real. Like, I'm okay at alphas. They turn out fine. I'm not gonna say like they're turning out terrible. No, they turn out fine. I'm okay at alphas, but I'm not great um, There's definitely a lot of mistakes I make uh, when I'm making my alphas and w The one that I made here is that I used string that was completely different um, So for the base strings, I think I used uh, DMC cotton pearl yeah I, yeah, I used DMC Cotton Pearl, uh, the, f the, I don't know, there's, there's a number 5 on it, I don't know what that means, but I think it's like thickness or something. Uh, and then I used Alitza Sal Simli, which is much thicker, um, and then I also used uh, DMC Cotton Pearl for the background, the sort of lightish blue, but the dark blue, which is the trees and then the house, when we're going to get into it a little bit later, that is um, just a normal yarn, uh, sorry, a normal embroidery floss. I don't remember the brand of it. I think it was just like an Amazon brand. I bought a random one off Amazon. But basically what I'm saying is the, the cotton pearl is much thinner than the yarn and then the embroidery floss. And because of that, the knots came out different. So whenever I was doing the dark blue knots for the sort of trees or whatever, they came out much bigger than the background knots. Um, and that doesn't work for alphas, when your knots are different sizes, the whole row isn't even. Your row is your row is supposed to be consistent, with the knots are supposed to be consistent on the row, because otherwise it's going to turn out really wonky and lopsided. And that is exactly what ended up happening. Um, and as well, when I started adding in the dark thread, 
the rows started to widen a lot. So not only were the rows not in line with one another, they were also widening and uh, you know contracting when I was removing the string from the uh, bracer. Oh, it's really wobbly here. Wow. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I, I was, you can actually see here, like, the row is sort of, well, you can't see it very well because it's shaking, but the row isn't straight at all, it's already very wonky. Um, so the resulting bracelet did turn out very, very wonky. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I like it regardless, I think it's a really cute bracelet. Um, I would love to try and make this again, but using the exact same brand of string so that the knots come out exactly the same size. Um, but maybe I'll save that for next year because uh, it's quite a big brace. So I don't think I'll get to it this year. Um, so yeah, maybe that will be something I do next year. Try this brace again. Use the same string. See how, how see how that helps. But I've been experimenting a lot with alphas. Um, I don't know why, but I sort of I used to make a lot of alphas, then I stopped for quite a long time, and now I'm trying to get back into doing them. And I've been experimenting with them on and off for a while over the past couple of months, uh, just sort of trying to figure out why I can't get the hang of them, because as I said, I'm having quite a lot of trouble with them. Um, and when I say I'm having quite a lot of trouble, it's not that I can't make alphas, I can do that, but they, as I said, turn out wonky, I make mistakes in the knots, they widen, they contract, uh, some colours bleed through in the knots, so those kinds of mistakes. Like, maybe I'm seeking perfection, I don't know, but I, want, I know that I can make it better, so I'm trying to figure out how to do that. And um, I've been experimenting a lot, and this month already I've made uh, another pattern, which is like a snowflake pattern. Um, I'm nearly done with that one, I have the last snowflake to make. Uh, I'll leave the pattern in the description if you want to see it. Um, but yeah, I, I made that one, and that one I started right after I finished this one. And that one, I specifically found strings of the same brand to use to see if that helps, and that did help significantly. That bracelet didn't widen at all. The rows are perfectly in line with each other. That's great. Um, and then also I started uh, another bracelet. Um, so basically, yeah, what I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm really trying to push myself with alphas because I like alphas a lot. The main issue for me is um, the background strings. I have quite a lot of string, um, but a lot of the string that I have, I only have one skein of. And that's not enough for the background of an alpha. Uh, alphas take up quite a lot of string really quite a lot of string, especially for the background rows, because there's just a lot of knots, uh, you need a lot of string for it. And so I don't think even one skein would be enough for, say, the blue background here. Uh, which is why I used the DMC Cotton Pearl, because that one comes in um, a much longer skein, there's much more string in that one skein than there is in the normal embroidery floss one. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what to do about that. The other ones that I've tried, I've been using sort of multicolored string, and that one uh, I have quite a lot of. Um, so yeah, maybe I just need to buy more strings. Maybe I have to like pre-plan and then just pick out what colors I'm going to be doing and then just buy for that. We'll see, I don't know. That's something I need to figure out how to get around. Anyway, uh, you guys also, when I posted this on my Instagram, you guys were asking um, how I get the edges straight, which... I was complaining about wonky edges, but that's not what I mean. Uh, when you make an alpha, you usually sort of get bumpy edges just from the way that the string moves. Um, and I was going to do a video on this, and I probably still am going to if you want a visual, but don't. it's not going to be soon. I have so many videos planned out before then, I don't know when I'm going to get to it. But uh, basically, what you do is you make forward backward knots on the right edge whenever you get to the last string on the right you make a forward backward knot and then on the left side you make backward forward knots so when you would normally make just backward or just forward knots on the edges do backward forward and forward backward knots for the edges and that will result in you not having any bumpiness on the sides so yeah as I said I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to do a video on it but um, if you want a visual for it but I don't know how soon that will be because I do have quite a lot of plans for the new year and um, in general. If you have any ideas, by the way, if you have anything you want me to do in the new year, leave them in the description, um, in the comments. I mean, I do have a lot of plans, but I'm always curious to see what you guys want to see. So that sort of helps me prioritize, I guess. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I love this house. Honestly, th this house, it just feels so cozy, doesn't it? It just gives me such... 
such Christmassy vibes. I don't know. It's just it's really homely and maybe just reminds me of my home, I guess, because uh, there's a lot of snow in Russia and especially in the countryside because um, my husband has, well, not him, but his family have um, a sort of a country house outside, just outside of Moscow. And it's, it's in the countryside and it's very sort of quiet and chill there. It's like um, sort of like a village, I guess you would describe it like a village, yeah. Uh, and we go there every summer to just hang out. There's like a pond there, you can swim. Um, and just, you know, in the winter, we also go there in the winter and it it's such a beautiful winter wonderland, especially when it snows, because there's, um, what do you call it, a forest. There's a for forest right next to it and when the snow falls and you have to walk through the forest to get to the train station, it's just such a beautiful winter wonderland. And I don't know, this just really reminded me of that when we would go there and we would just, um, you know, sit there and drink tea and especially during like Christmas time, it's, it's beautiful. But yeah, uh, we got to the end of the time lapse. I'm probably gonna go there, by the way, um, into that house when I get there. I'm really excited for that. Um, but yeah, I, as I said, the bracelet is very wonky. You can very clearly see that, but I'm pretty happy with that anyway. I think it turned out uh, pretty well, so <laughs> I'm not complaining. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed if you want to make this bracelet for yourself as well. Uh, it is the monthly challenge right now, so as I said, that video will be linked in the description with all the rules. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for hanging out with me, it was very nice, and have a lovely Christmas, or whatever you celebrate. I post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays when I'm not sick. I was sick last week, which is why I didn't post. And I will see you next time. Bye!